If you've wanted a major update to iOS 16, well there aren't going to be any major redesigns or any significant new features that could completely change how you use your iPhone. But we've got some new information that was shared today by Mark German from Bloomberg, so let's go through that. Well the report is quite vague and it doesn't really give too much detail into what could be coming with the software updates at WWDC. It does suggest that Apple will focus on notifications in the update and completely rethink how they actually work. Notifications have been adjusted and improved over time since iOS 13, but they're still lacking compared to Android in the latest update. So Apple could bring some new sorting options or filtering or change how they work completely. One rumour that did fit into this is the redesigned lock screen that was apparently coming in 2021 but was delayed until this year. So we could see that new lock screen this year and you could get a new notification experience basically on your iPhone and iPad in 2022, hopefully. Other than that, Garmin also talks about the new health features that are coming to iPhone so they'll likely be incorporated into the health app but apart from that there isn't much more information about the update yet. Usually information isn't shared about software updates coming at WWDC until nearer to May June time so if we wait a bit more there should be more leaks and information and rumours about iOS 16 and other updates nearer the time of the event. Garmin also says that iPad will get a new multitasking UI which could make using your iPad easier easier with multiple applications, possibly multiple windows and it should bring some more power user features to the uh, iPad which has been neglected for a few years now in terms of actual software. iPadOS is one area where I want to see Apple focus because recent updates have been really neglecting and uh, letting down the iPad in terms of new features that could come to improve how you actually use it and to make it more advanced because we now have M1 in the iPad Air and the iPad Pro so there's no doubt that it can take advantage of more powerful software features that could be added soon hopefully. Other than that Gurman also talks about watchOS 9 quickly and he does say that the update will be focused on the health and tracking part of it so new health and activity tracking features which is kind of the purpose of the Apple Watch anyway so I'm glad Apple is kind of going back to basics hopefully and focusing on the major part of the Apple Watch which a lot of people use daily. Of course last year's watchOS 8 update wasn't actually a disappointment it brought new apps it brought some changes to the UI as well but this year hopefully it can focus more on actual uh, certain features of the experience rather than adding a load of new ones that maybe people won't even use. There wasn't any information shared about the new features coming to Mac OS 13 apart from the code name which is called Rome. I would assume that because iOS is getting new notification systems that Mac OS will copy that and use the same um, use the same feature and so will iPad. Apart from that Gurman does say that there won't be any major redesign which some people for whatever reason have been hoping for for a while now um, but hopefully we do get some more groundbreaking significant features for the iPhone to make up for last year's disappointing update and um, that could again be the new notifications the new lock screen potentially control center and maybe updated icons we don't really know there isn't a lot of information but I'm glad we've got a bit of information shared today uh, to give us a quick preview about what could come at the event so I'm excited for all updates actually this year apart from tvOS let me know what you think in the comment section and any new feature you want to see come to your iPhone, iPad, Mac or Apple Watch this year. If you enjoyed the video leave a like on it that would be great. If you want more like this a sub to the channel would be amazing and hopefully catch you in another video. Thank you for watching.